Action. People need at the same time a lot of privacy and to meet their neighbors. That's why in our building, the building I design, I often put a um, common space. You can meet your neighbors, you can work in this space, because now people uh, work uh, in teleworking. They can also have children in their apartments. And I think it's very important that architects think about this new way of life to propose spaces to make them. Today, the architectural and urban questions are very complex and they need a lot of people around the table to answer these questions. I think the architects are very well placed to lead these teams because they have an overview on the project. But at the same time, they have to be very humble and to understand they are just a part of this process. I don't like cities which were just drawn by one hand and I think they are very boring. My team and I have designed a project with a lot of different parts. There is a very big model, which is an allegory of a new generation of tower with a lot of outside spaces. So we can live in the city as we would do in countryside. And then we have also done plans, smaller models, and videos. Everyone can be touched by this project, I hope. Functions of the buildings are changing a lot right now. There is not just working spaces or living spaces. There is co-working, co-living, urban farming, a lot of new uses. And so these two types of building, they slowly come closer and closer to each other. And I think now, perhaps, we could adapt these buildings to every function we need. We all love to come several times in our life in Venice, but we also like to see that Venice is doing better because less people go there. And I think this uh, complex balance between uh, private pleasure and general wellness is the heart of the today's problematic. We could all talk together about this question and the Biennale is of course a very good moment to do it.